Nichols, I'm one of the emergency uh, medicine ultrasound faculty, and today we're going to do uh, aorta ultrasound. This is Adar, she's a medical student doing some ultrasound. So we do aorta typically with the um, transabdominal um, curvilinear probe, the one that we have down in the emergency department is a little bit bigger, but it's the same curvilinear probe, just a uh, larger footprint. So we're going to be scanning from the um, subxiphoid area to the umbilicus, which is about where the patient will have their bifurcation. We do sagittal and transverse images. We typically start out in transverse, and the reason that we start out in transverse is because it gives us uh, the best landmark, which is the spine. Our indicator so, is going to be towards the patient's right, and we're going to be in the abdominal preset. So I'm going to find the spine, which is going to be a bright white hyperechoic um, curvilinear line, like an upside down horseshoe. Um, and that's the spine, which is our landmark for aorta, aorta being on the right side of the spine, patient's left. Um, right side of the image, um, patient's left side, and then the IVC on the patient's right, which is you know on the left side of the image on the screen. So we're going to find the aorta. This gives us the best view of all the walls of the aorta because we want to make sure there's something called cylinder um, tangent error where you could cut the aorta in different um, slices and you could actually underestimate the size, size of it if we're looking for aneurysm, which is the main reason that we're doing this, um, this ultrasound. So we're going to start transverse, find the aorta. We want to follow it all the way down in the midline. Sometimes bowel gas will get in your way and you'll lose it. Um, in order to kind of get rid of that, you'll, you can just do firm, steady pressure. Um, sometimes that'll bring the aorta into view better. Um, you can continue it down. And, uh, you're going to follow it to the umbilicus, which is about where it's going to bifurcate. And you want to see the bifurcation. You want to visualize both of the common iliac um, arteries to make sure that they look similar in size, that one's not larger than the other. Um, and then once you've done that, um, you can take your measurements. You want to take typically one measurement um, proximally um, at the celiac axis, if you're able to see that. Sometimes for celiac axis, you may have to tilt the probe upward and you may not get a great view of the aorta. You may not really get a great view until you look at the SMA. Um, so you want to get celiac, SMA, and then as you go down, uh, um, bifurcation. You want to start back in the epigastric area with the probe um, tilted slightly upwards um, and you want to find the aorta. So this can be confusing because you want to make sure that um, you're not uh, confusing IVC with aorta. So if you see the IVC, you'll see it going into the heart. You should see liver on both sides. If you see that, then you want to um, slightly uh, look over towards the patient's uh, left to try to bring the aorta into view. Then you can take a measurement and you want to make sure you measure outer wall to outer wall. And then you want to very steadily keep your aorta in view as you go down. Again, it's going to be going upwards towards the screen so you can shallow your angle out. And you want to follow it as far down as you possibly can. Follow that. If you get lost, start back in the epigastric area, find it, and then come down. Because it's going to be difficult midstream you know, to find where you're looking at. The more at. you do it, the easier it will be to keep it in screen as you slide down. And you want to make sure you fan side to side. The other thing is that, you know, you can see dissections. You can't rule that out with this, but you could see that. I take measurements, typically three measurements along the full aorta in uh, longitudinal um, or sagittal. And you want your measurements to be less than three centimeters because greater than three centimeters is going to be considered an aneurysm. So that's basically aorta. Mm -hmm.